I am super excited with what I accomplished today and it's right there above my head. What that is, is a hundred gallon transfer tank. It used to haul diesel. It's an old tank and I converted it to a water holding tank. Because I am limited on water and America and the rest of the world eventually is going to be limited on water. I decide I need to conserve it. So what I did with that tank was this. Pulled my washer and dryer out. And because a washing machine has its own pump when it drains the water, I ran a hose down the wall up to the tank and then on the back side of the tank I dropped another line down this wall through the this box into the original drain where you're supposed to drain the the water but by doing that it goes up to the 100 gallon it goes up to this 100 gallon water tank and then when it gets too full See, when it gets too full, it goes over to this other side and it has a relief for it to run back down and out the drain. That's only when it gets too full, but it's also to keep it from air locking. Then I ran a plumbing line. You see it right there. Across the truss. I haven't quite mounted it yet. It's just sitting there. And I ran it over to this outhouse. And then I ran it down this wall. And hooked it to my toilet. This is the fresh water hookup. So eventually I'll work out a T system that doesn't backfeed into the gray water system. But yeah, that's, it fits the decor of the building really, really well. To test out how much water that I was using in the washing machine, I sat that next to the washing machine and did one load of laundry. That's a 35 gallon garbage can and one load of water of uh, laundry does 40 gallons. I had to scramble for a five gallon bucket to catch the rest of it. So I was like, holy shit, I'm wasting a lot of water flushing it down the drain. So how about we take that and flush it down the toilet? That's repurposing water.